Hello. As a lot of you may know, I have a deep, deep perversion. Uh, I don't suck toes or eat shit. I really, really like figurines and action figures. What spurred this on? Christ only knows. All I know is I have two deep, deep loves in my life. Figurines and prehistory. And my wonderful partner. Uh, here is a dinosaur. This was released in the late 80s. It's called a Dino Rider. It is the greatest toy ever made. Uh, there was a whole line of these. There's a couple dozen of these. And they're exactly what you see on the tin. It is a dinosaur being ridden. It is armed to the goddamn teeth, including teeth, which you can do this with. It has secret guns. You can swivel this around. This guy comes off. He's articulated. He has his own guns. I love you, Dino Riders. Uh, this has never been rebooted. Very little has been done with this brand. And I absolutely adore it. And anything that even closely resembles Dino Riders, I will compulsively pick up. So when, at my job, I was stocking shelves for Christmas and I came across this, I had questions. My conspiracy theory for this is, Jurassic World is huge. Absolutely massive. The aisle for action figures is chock full of dinosaurs. But what if... <laughs> well, bear with me here. We make a truck come with the dinosaur. And then we'll be the only dinosaur toy in the car aisle. My god, you're onto something. Yeah, so this is called Dinosaurs vs. Trucks. Uh... <laughs> the age-old question. Who will win? A dinosaur or a truck? Uh, they made six of these. Uh, half of them are just recolors, uh, so I picked the ones that I found the most interesting or obnoxious, hence why I have the... God, God fucking damn it. And why I went with the uh, neon velociraptor with goggle guns. Uh, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, bel <laughs> I'm not gonna belate this anymore. Uh, here they are. Here, here is, here is <laughs> the age-old question of of dinosaurs for <laughs> fucking trucks. Um, if anyone's curious about who would win, all right, that's not doing too much. Let's let's just n nip you. Oh, he's he's oh, actually. <laughs> I was expecting this guy to collapse. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful. You can obviously take pieces off, put it on trucks. Uh, this isn't even the right one. This guy came with this, this gray truck. Uh, so just a quick example. Take the goggles off. It's it's a it's a bloody truck with guns. Oh, but the Velociraptor's taken the the goggles. Now it's it. um, I I of course immediately bought all of these. Uh, so we have a Triceratops with a, a harpoon machine gun sort of on a, on a sentry. And um, the one that really caught my eye was this one. Uh, this is a T-Rex, obviously. Uh, as for how paleontologically well depicted they are, uh, I'll quickly rate them. Uh, fucking terrible. Uh, passable, but outdated. Alright, but could use some work. Um, this one is a complete knockoff of an original Dino Riders toy. Uh, one of the greatest action figures ever is the Dino Riders T-Rex. This side bit, complete knocked off. This chest bit is knocked off, which is funny, because in the original figure, it is for his arms. He has two giant robotic arms, which are just sick, rotating turret, hind... Will I show an image next to this? Maybe. But I'm also extremely lazy, and I can't imagine anyone's watching this. This is just me screaming into the void. I have too much of this shit, and I've been sitting on it for way too fucking long to not do anything with it. So we are gonna just... All right, who, whoever this got out to, we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk through this. We're gonna work through this because I have more. This is pretty good, isn't it? But hold on, just a second. A uh, company I forgot the name of released in a couple years ago, Dino Clash, uh, which, first off, is great. It's a dude. Writing, uh... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, again, I'm sure anyone looks at this and just goes, Yeah, yeah, the Velociraptor, what do you want from it? No. 
No, it's not. Uh, wonderful company called Creative Beast made this a couple years ago. This is, I think, technically a Pyroraptor, but you get the idea of what a Velociraptor is meant to look like. Now, this is an extremely expensive, well-done thing. I do not expect the thing that went to Dollar Tree in the U.S. to be as good. But, this is a monster. This is not something that existed. It's just a creature. I got more of these, obviously. It's a Smilodon. It's a... Uh, you may you may notice as I finish this video because I have only three of these, and I'm gonna put the other one here. Despite being called Jurassic Clash, none of these are from the Jurassic. Uh, this guy is from the Pleistocene. This guy potentially the Eocene. It depends what you want. And I'm isolating people. I'm going on a weird rant. We're gonna just move on from this. This is a giant gun that doesn't move, and it just points down. I I don't know what it's for. I enjoy these a lot, but they're missing one main thing. They don't have giant turrets. Like, you ride the dinosaur- It's dino riders, you ride the- They came with something. Welcome to the world of Jurassic Clash. Now. People. Whoever wrote this, and if you- if you somehow got a hold of- I wanna say- I love you. And I- I want to be you. I'm gonna- I'm gonna leave this nice figure here. And we're gonna read off the blurb that is- th this thing is dense. Um, as far as world building goes, Bible, get it out of here. Bionicle, which I originally meant to say and said Bible, get it out of here. Uh, fucking Warhammer, Star Wars, eat my ass. We are about to enter the world of Jurassic Clash. It's the year 25XX. Super advanced technology let humanity bring back and live among dinosaurs and megafauna. With dino control technology, machines, beasts, and humans working together were able to bring pollution down to almost zero. Oxygen levels raised, flora and fauna grew in size, and finally, a peaceful and self-sustained world is achieved. All thanks to the supercomputer known as the evolution, the very apex of human technological achievements, until the singularity, also known as <laughs> Cybergenon. Shit, I gotta do that again. Cybergeddon happened. The sentient... The sentient... Evolution. Decimated humanity and enslaved all remaining living creatures telepathically controlling... Dinosaur and humans alike. Oh, they made dinosaur... And is one word. Uh, whoops. We all make little... I mean, I'm just gonna quickly show that. We, we all make little boobs of ourselves when we're writing out our massive toy line, like not putting a space between dinosaur and and. So a fucking moron reads it as dinosaur and, which uh, is now a word and I want you to start using it. Uh, the Final Impact, a military unit specialized in hunting down humans and feral dinosaurs, again, no space, for total war world domination. This motherfucker keeps going, got another paragraph left and you're not leaving. A small group of raiders, raiders is in yellow and twice the font of the rest of them for some reason, escaped, living on the run in a new world between feral prehistoric wilderness and technological doom. But the surviving humans are strong, and their willpower is iron. Alongside their tamed dinosaur companions and incredible technology, they will retaliate and launch the ultimate Jurassic Clash. Uh, whoever got this job... You know, uh, Tim, we're an extreme budget toy line, which I can now see the name of, Lenard. I need you to just write a little description uh, on the back so kids get a vague idea of what they're dealing with here. Aren't you sure they're just going to be playing with a bunch of toy dinosaurs and not really giving a shit? I mean, they're just these fucking military men on dinosaurs. Actually, this one is technically a dinosaur. Ha ha ha, fuck you. Um, no, you need to write out this, this mythos to go along with it. Uh, Leonard, whoever that man is, you probably can't promote him, because I can't imagine you're doing pretty well, because I've got some of your other toys, and they're absolutely terrible. Uh, uh, I don't know, give him a pat on the head. Uh, God bless you, Leonard. Uh, though, Leonard, this final thing, and uh, the proud creators of <laughs> Dinosaurs vs. Trucks, you will all be left in the sand by...
Jump cut. Uh, just found out that there is a maximum recording time on uh, this. Cool. There is a cat here. This is... Neka Mecca. Is that its actual name? No, that's just what we started calling it in the house. Because it is a Mecca with a Neko. Maybe Neko Mecco is a better one. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, this is just a really well-made cat. It seems to be a nice gray Scottish fold. An incredibly cute breed of cat, may I say. Uh, and it's done very well. And it will not focus. Focus, you son of a bitch. Oh, well. This is done to a really good level. This is, like, uh, up to par with Gashapon, uh, which is a great onomatopoeia word. Gasha Gasha Pon Pon. Uh, which are little capsule machines found all around Japan and Southeast Asia, but mainly Japan, uh, in the mega cities for the most part. I digress. Fuck you, tree. This thing's great. I got it at a model shop for like three bucks or whatever the equivalent is for not uh, dollary do use in Aussies. Uh, it's a mech. It's a it's a goddamn mech. It. All right. Dinosaur. Pretty outlandish. Mechanized dinosaur. That's pretty bizarre. We're gonna give him just Mac 10 looking things instead of horns. That's pretty out there. A cat's gonna ride him. You've lost me. It's a litter tray. We're gonna mold a litter. We're gonna completely mold an individual litter tray piece that is the main platform for the cat to ride the mechanized Uzi wielding dinosaur that has knocked over my tree, which means I am not sure of the staging of this anymore. I, I love you, Japan. You, I mean, you may be a... <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to specify now. Uh, Japan, you have, a very, you have some strange interests uh, and some, some strange uh, uh, evaluations of historical events. But I love you deeply. Uh, almost as much as I love that guy at Lenard. This is perfect. Uh, you, could, you could bring Gaddafi in front of a UN tribunal and he could say, wait, wait. When we ditched the nuclear program, we started working on the Neko Mecco. I would be the one guy saying pardon the goddamn guy. This thing's incredible. Uh, you can even take it apart. I don't know if this does anything. You can take it apart and make like a robotic viper looking thing that looks absolutely terrible. Not that this looks very good, but the, the idea is there. Someone had a budget and they used it to make this. And I love that. And while the golden ages of the Dino Riders are gone... There are very, very strange offshoots that we will be enjoying, uh, probably for the rest of our miserable lives, uh, or until our wives and come to their senses. I, I was going to correct myself and say wives and husbands. No, just, just wives. I, I know who you are. Uh, the silver lining is, the very wonderful people behind this guy uh, are doing their take on Dino Riders. Uh, this, as it stands, is about 60 Australian dollars. Uh, so how much this is going to cost decked out in armor with a completely articulated three and three quarter inch figure? Uh, God only knows, uh, but they're probably going to make quite a few of these, and I don't know what to do. And I just realized that that wasn't touching the ground, and that is going to deeply upset me. Well, thank you for joining my... Uh, thank you for joining me in this uh, first and final outing on Shit I Own. I say final, but I'll be frank. I'm just going to start doing these. I, I don't know how long I'll do them for. No one's going to watch them. I don't want anyone to watch them. This is for me to get more trash and catalog it. For you, the viewer. And for me, the, the fucking psychopath. I, I, I don't know. Welcome on board, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I'm going to sign off with that.